Hey everyone and welcome to today's guitar lesson on Dosed by Red Hot Chili Peppers, one of their most underrated songs in my opinion, um, really cool chord progression and the solo is pretty simple but still uh, yeah, such a cool guitar riff so um, I thought I would cover this song today. First things first, I have to give huge credit to Our June Lions, um, a cover group here on YouTube because they actually came up with this chord progression, um, I'm just the one who figured out how they played it and who wants to make a tutorial on how they played it because I think this guitar arrangement that they uh, came up with is a really cool solution to put in the different guitar parts in um, one into one guitar. So a really good arrangement for acoustic guitar, so credit where credit is due. Um, check them out, really cool channel, they have a lot of really good covers and they're also doing original songs so shout out to them and uh, take a look at their channel. Link is down in the description below. Okay, we've got um, three different guitar parts on this song that you saw in the intro. Um, and I would suggest we're going to start with the basic rhythm guitar. And the chords that we need for this song are C major, which is muted low E string, ring finger, third fret on the A string, middle finger, second fret on the D string, open G string, index finger, first fret on the B string, open E string. Next chord is a D in a C shape, so we just use this finger shape of our C and slide it up two frets, so we've got 5, 4, 0, 3, 0. Really beautiful sounding chord. Next chord is an E minor, regular open E minor, so open low E string, second fret A string, second fret D string, open G, B and E string. Um, these are the, the chords that we need for the verse and for the chorus we need a G without our index finger. So um, ring finger, third fret on the low E string and we lay it gently across the A string as well so it doesn't sound, so it's muted. Then open D and G string and third fret with our ring and pinky on the B and E string. Next chord is a regular D major, muted low E and A string, open D string, second fret G string, third fret B string, second fret E string. Then we need our E minor again and the C and we have one more section which is um, the solo part and the outro of the solo part. For that we need um, C that we already know. We already need, also need a C over B which is just um, our middle finger on the second fret on the A string, muted low E string of course. Then open or muted, you can do it um, yeah, however you want. Uh, D string, then open G string, first fret on the B string and open E string. And we also need an A minor for this part. A minor is muted low E string, open A string, second fret D and G string, first fret B string, open E string. Alright, so let's take a look at the chord progression. The chord progression for our verse is C to our C shaped D to E minor. And we always play um, one bar of C, half a bar of D, half a bar of E minor, and we switch on two and, okay? So the start with single strum sounds like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And, and then when the song start, uh, gets going and gets a bit louder, um, we can use two different strumming patterns. The first one that I would suggest to you is um, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Okay, and if we just put that on our chords, we've got one whole strumming pattern on the C. And then half a strumming pattern. And then on the E minor, okay. Um, other suggestion is just do eighth notes down strums and accentuate one, 
two and and four. So one and two. So that is the verse. The chorus, chord progression for the chorus is G for a whole bar, D for a whole bar, E minor for a whole bar, to C for a whole bar. And we can use just the exact same strung pattern again. So we've got this. Okay, um, so we go to our regular C first the second time around and then we lift up our index finger so we have this C major 7 and play two down strums put our pinky down on the third fret of the B string for a C at 9 do one down strum lift it back up again and play three more down strums on our C major 7. Okay, so this whole part on the C sounds like this. Or you can also just do two down strums. Um, so in context we've got this the second time around we play it. Okay, and then we just repeat that regular chord progression third time around C fourth time around same chord progression and this time for a transition back to the verse we do okay so one two three and then put down our pinky on the third fret for our C at nine as a transition chord to go into the verse and then we go back to our regular chord progression And so on. Okay, last part for our rhythm guitar is the outro. Um, after playing, um, so over the solo, just play the regular chord progression C to D to E minor, and then the last time when our lead guitar goes, and so on, we play one bar of C, C over B, one bar, two bars A minor. Ended with a single strum on our G. Okay, so far so good for our rhythm guitar part. Next, let's take a look at the guitar arrangement I told you about by our June Lions, um, which is kind of combining the lead and the rhythm guitar part in one guitar. Okay, first of all, we start with a C major 7, which is almost like a regular open C chord, but with our index finger lift off. So we've got an open B string, okay, and we start by strumming this chord once, and then do um, G B E twice, G once, and then twice the B string, okay. So we've got this all together. And after that we switch to a D sus2, which is a D chord without the middle finger, so an open E string, but it doesn't really matter for this um, part because we only play the D, G and B string anyway. So we strum, um, after we've done the, we strum the D, G and B string, and then lift up the chord shape and play an open B string, okay? and then just strum an E minor twice. Okay, so all together so far we've got. And the 
second time around we do this, it's almost exactly the same. So we do the C and the picking until the D sus2, the same way again, play our D sus2, up to the B string only, so... And now we play the high E string with an upstroke, okay? So the second part, we've got this. And that's already it. So again, the whole thing in full speed. And that is already it for their guitar arrangement. Now let's take a look at the original guitar arrangement that you can hear in the original recording by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, we need some kind of a yeah, diminished uh, C major bar chord in the 8th fret. So we've got our pinky on the 8th fret of the E string, 10th fret with our ring finger on the A string, and we need our middle finger on the 9th fret of the G string, okay? And then we just pick E, A, G, and we do down, down, up, down, down, up, so do that twice. Then put our middle finger on the 10th fret of the E string, index finger, 9th fret on the D string, and then ring finger on the 11th fret of the G string. And do again down, down, up, so. And then uh, we switch to an E minor, kind of like a diminished bar chord again. So we've got index finger on the 7th fret of the A string, ring finger on the 9th fret of the G string, and middle finger on the 10th, uh, sorry, on the 8th fret of the B string. And we do again, oh, sorry, on the 9th fret of the D string with our ring finger, okay? And all together we've got this. And that is just repeated throughout the whole verse. Last section we want to look at is the solo. And the solo starts with our ring finger on the 12th fret of the E string and the index finger right behind it on the 10th fret of the E string. And then we just alternate between these two notes six times. Okay, so we've got this. And then switch to the 12th fret of the B string with our ring finger and pluck it five times. Okay, and we do that all together twice. So really slowly, the first line of the solo sounds like this. And you saw that um, when I play the 12th fret of the B string, I do a little vibrato. Okay, um, next line, so we're on the 12th fret of the B string with our ring finger. We pluck it once and slide up to the 13th fret. Okay, so... From 13 down to 12 again. And then to the 8th fret for three times. 7th fret and 8th fret twice again. Okay, so all together this part until here sounds like this. And then we switch with our ring finger to the 12th fret of the B string and our index finger to the 10th fret of the E string. Play that once. Then slide our ring finger one fret higher and put down our middle finger on the 12th fret of the E string. And we do this change three times, okay? So we've got this. Sorry. One more time on the 12th and 10th fret, and then we do three times with our ring finger on the 12th fret of the B string and our middle finger on the 12th fret of the G string. Okay? So all together this part sounds like this. Okay, so again, this line we've got. And then 
we just repeat the first line that you already know. So 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10. And then for the end of our solo, we pluck the 12th um, fret of the B string again with our ring finger, slide it up to the 15th fret, and do. Okay, so five times. Then, um, either with your middle or with your ring finger on the 12th fret of the B string again, and put one of your other fingers behind it to, uh, yeah. Um, support it for the bend. Okay, so we pluck the 12th string again and bend it up half a note so it has the, the note of our 13th fret. Okay, so and then bend it back. Okay, and then play just our regular 12th fret um, of the B string. And after that little break, we pluck it one more time, bend it up, bend it back down, pluck it again, and then play the 15th fret of the B string one more time. Okay, so all together really slowly. The last part of the solo sounds like this. And that is already it for this song. So I hope everything was clear in this tutorial um, and that you can now play this song. If you enjoyed this tutorial, leave a like um, and maybe you want to check out my channel for more guitar tutorials. So thanks for watching and see you around next time.